Alright, this is the last video for this project. Now, I put the decals over top of my coloring and, and tissue paper. I think the last time I did one, I did, I put the tissue paper on, then I put the decal on, and then I uh, put more Mod Podge over top of it. And then I gessoed it. So, just to let you know, I mean, I like it, but I think I like the other way I did better. So, just to let you know. But this side I finished, and I did the top. Well, like, I wanted to show you, like, this is, this is with it, the extra paint. This is without. Some people might like it like that. I like it like this. I did the top ones and the side. So now I'm gonna do this side with you. So how did I start it? Let me think. I think I did. I'm gonna do this right here first. I like to use um let me see. I'm gonna do the inklings. It's me in blue. It's shimmery. And I just used one of my acrylic brushes that I bought a long time ago. I like it. It's flat. It's flat. So I can go like this really softly and it doesn't get too bad on the inside of everything. So... Now, with these, when you first open them, spritz them with some water. I just get a little bit on there. And I just hold it to the side. Just kind of drag it on there. It was really easy on the other side because the way I did it, it was um, a lot more defined, I guess you'd say. I love these shimmers paints. And I'm not worried about total coverage because <clears throat> it just doesn't matter too much to me. You can see where the um, texture paste started to crackle and get these little cracks in it, and I kind of like that. So this just brings these out a little bit more. Makes them a little more noticeable. Make sure it's still recording randomly. I hate that. <laughs> I hate it when it cuts off. Very lightly. And the reason why I don't worry about it being too precise is because sometimes I use a pit pit pin to outline these things to make them stand out a little bit better. I don't know if I'm going to do that with this one though. I haven't decided. There, I think that makes it stand out a little bit more with that dark blue and it's gonna be it's a, a nice little shimmer to it and then what I did with the other side I wanted it to have like a metal look to it 
so I used, let me find it. Well, first of all, what I did is I used this um, Thunderstorm Creams. Let's see how it is. Just put a little bit of water in there. little bit it's so strange not having music going but I didn't realize that it was when I was videotaping it I, I thought I had it low enough but I guess apparently I didn't so I will just not have music that's a little bit too watery I'm not worried too much about full coverage yet at all. This is kind of like a underpainting for the rest of the silvery look. It really goes a long way. You'd think when you first get it, but these are so small, the containers, but it really goes a long way. I mean, there's some that I have that I use an awful lot, like um, this gold one I use a lot. I just order a whole bunch all at once. And the reason why I don't really worry about full coverage is because I really like this blue is so pretty. I don't want to totally cover it. So with this brush, I can do a lot of the side strokes and then I can do detailed by just lifting it up. Very lightly. My head's probably going to get in the way for this top part. <laughs> Let me see if I can lift it up. quiet here. It's a nice weekend. It feels weird going outside and feeling cold air now. Just lightly touching it.
My birds are being so loud. That's so relaxing. Just a little bit more on this one. Gosh, I just love that blue. It's so pretty. <coughs> Allergies are kicking me. Goes a pretty good ways. I'm gonna do to this side. So I don't mix up and and miss a step. amazing that's paper isn't that wild and it looks like metal I'm gonna do this big one over here first. And just so I didn't have too much on the paintbrush. And I wash it off a little bit. The next one I used was um, no one's chrome. It's inklings, so it's going to have a nice little shimmer to it. And squirt a little water in there. So soft. I don't worry about being too worried about getting it underneath, you know, like a little bit off. It's okay. Because to me, I'm thinking, I don't know, steampunk, so. It doesn't have to be perfect. This way, I like doing this with it because that way 
when it's daylight and you don't have the lights on, it still looks pretty interesting. doesn't have to be all the way colored in because we still have another layer that we're going to put on there another color I have this painting that I need to finish today. I'm hoping I get to it. I can't really do a lot when my daughter's home. <laughs> She's something else. I could be doing a project and she could walk in and you know I don't really think too much about it. She just walks in and I tell you what I'm going to put this down so I don't, I don't want to be sh shaking. Anyway, she'll walk in the, in the door, or she'll be just sitting next to me being a good girl. You know, just chilling with mom. My mom's working. She is quick. She will grab up something and just casually walk away. And I'm like, okay, where's my scissors? Now, when she got a hold of my scissors one time, I was horrible. She had a hair that was all the way down to just past, just past her waist. And she got a hold of the scissors. I was mopping the floor. And Daddy was supposed to be watching her, but you know how that goes. So, I go to, to go in the hallway... And I saw like a piece of hair, like a, you know, a gob of hair. I don't know. <laughs> I was thinking, is, what is this? My brain did not want to comprehend. So I walked into her bedroom and there was a trail of hair. And when I got into her bedroom, it looked like a wig on the floor. It was awful. I think I cried. I think I did. This is really kind of funny because when she actually, after she did it, I uh, brushing her hair. She had like a, an 80s thing going on. She had like a, uh, a mullet. She had the punk top hair and a rat tail. Very 80s. I was kind of impressed. And it was really strange because she kind of angled it really kind of well around her face. And Gianna's very lucky because she's got a lot of um, support from special education teachers. She was in school from the age of three, and her three-year-old pre-K teacher, such a wonderful lady, she came over and fixed her hair for me. I was so sad, but it actually turned out pretty nice. It looks pretty good. It's easier to comb.
get one more color after this one. It's a lot of layers. I think it's worth it though. I hope I'm in camera. Yep, I am. I did the same technique on um, cereal box, um, keepsake box. It turned out really cute. so funny I'm like I find uh, different things for example school just started so you get all of those uh, um, books basically you know about what is it code of conduct and all that stuff that's some like amazing uh, cardstock so I'm gonna do something with it I'm so glad I found this paint. I can't even remember. I think I the first time I saw somebody using it, I uh, I can't remember now. I have to go look through because that lady's tutorials were amazing. Are amazing. So far so good? I hope so. It's a long process. But it's so worth it. I think it is. I have to remember not to talk too loud because my face is right on the camera. I come up with different ways to make this better video. I'm very new at this. So I'm right now I just use my phone. I'm going to go to sleep. I don't know if you can see all of the, the folds and the creases that that paper makes, that tissue paper does. It's pretty cool. Fabric tag. Man, that stuff is good. It holds some stuff down.
very nice. I'm loving it. Alright, the next I use is called, it's Inklings, so it's nice and shimmery. And it's called Burnish Buckle. I think it gives it dimension, maybe, I guess. Having all the different colors showing through. I remember to breathe. Oh, I love this. Oh, it looks like it's getting cloudy outside. I don't know if we're going to get any of the weird weather from Irma. I'm so glad that it didn't do as much damage as I thought it was going to do in Florida. I thought I unplugged these. Guess I didn't. Can't remember, did I do the top? Nope, I didn't do the top. Gotta just be very careful. Oops, I must have. What did I touch? I touched something. I think it was right here. I got it. Gosh, that looks so cool. That looks awesome. Still recording. Whoo, yes. Oh, 
Oh, my stomach is growling. <laughs> wow. Birds are being so loud. Even know what made me think to do this. I was just feeling experimental one day. I'm glad I did it. sold a few and I've given away a few too. Stomach is growling.